What's up everybody, AJ here back again with another video. So I'll be checking out the latest special episode for Zenlozun Zero titled Virtual Revenge. Now I'll be completely honest with you, I don't know how long this special episode is going to take, but I'm gonna see you through to the very end. So without further ado, let's jump right into the special episode of Zenless Zone Zero version 1.3. <laughs> Lumina Square in front of the HIA Club. There's so many people at Lumina Square today. Guilty, uh, Lithuanian. Huh? No, that's not Faithin. It's No Face. It's not oh. surprising you confused them. Ever since Faithin went quiet, No Face has been one of the top proxies. What's so great about No Face? Are they really that good? Up against the famed Section Six with the Void Hunter Miyabi in charge, I'd say No Face is out of options. Oh. Lady Miyavi, please step on me. Huh? Oh, Master, Master! My heart has something to say! Sokaku! <laughs> Dog, wanna be my girl? No, no, that came out all wrong. No wonder it's so crowded. They're all fans of Section 6. Looks like they're hosting an event here. Should we get out of here? We don't want to be another notch on Section 6's belt like No Face. What the hell was that? No. Keep moving. What are you talking about, Belle? We're law abiding citizens. Uh. Hello? What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination. Excuse but I me feel when like I said something is about to happen. Excuse me while I set up this. Uh oh. Incoming hacker. Brother, what the hell was that? We need the Hollow Affairs and Neutralization Department headquarters in New Erodo Stone Quarter. Yep, new location. Just like as per these as was mentioned in the special program in version of um Zelda Zero version 1.3. So hey, it's Krishiro from section 6. Congrats, you sorted out that troublesome case, right? Ah, you're from section 9. Thank you for your concern regarding that case. There are still some loose ends to tie up. Good job. It must have been pretty rough. The consensus at the case briefing was that this case required immense intelligence work. As an intelligence officer, your contribution was indispensable. You're too kind. It's just part of my duty. It wasn't too much work, nor can I claim, claim the credit alone. It was a team effort. They're always so modest. That's why out of everyone in Section 6, you're my favorite to work with. Oh, by the way, someone was looking for you. And HIA staff member was just like asking me who to contact in Section 6 to discuss cooperation. I didn't even hesitate to tell them. You wait for Deputy Chief Kishiro Yanagi. She's the only reliable one in Section 6. Please don't sick there next time. All of our executive officers are reliable. Sorry, I bet. I didn't think even you would be afraid of extra work. Anyway, that HIA guy is probably waiting for you at the Section 6 office. You better go meet them as soon as possible. And yep, looks like we've been controlling um, Yanagi throughout this entire special, special episode. Just like what have 
Just like the the Jane special episode. And as much as I would love to zoom in using I'm trying to zoom in but unfortunately this game doesn't have a zoom in feature from what I understand. Uh how? Well one thing Zenazel Zero is doing good at is they they are trying their utmost best to promote their the new characters. This is a very good way in promoting the new character from the seed. Yeah, let me figure how in the blue hell am I supposed to enter? Oh, but that's how it works. Dude, not gonna lie, dude. She's giving off the vibe of an office lady, and do you see them? Do you see what I'm seeing, but bro? Okay, you can't really see it from the side view, but from the front view, holy mother of G. Back view, nah. you can't really have a good view of of a of a cake because. There's something time on her on on her on the back and her shoulder, so you can't really have a good view. But on the, the front view, though, and look at the way she's walking, man! Holy mother of G! Oh, I'm supposed to have a conversation with this man in black. It's ex Executive Officer Kishiro. Do you want to enter your office? Yeah, let's just, let's just keep proceeding with the main objective. So this is the insights of the... HIA Talk to the HIA staff Oh Sokaku And then We have What is this dude's name again? Oh, was it Harumasa? Yeah We have Harumasa right over here And obviously we have the female Virgil, Hoshimi Miyabi. Hmm. In terms of design, I'll be very frank. But then again, this is first impression. In terms of design. Yanagi is much more sexy in a sense, while Miyabi is more of a down to earth. And I, I don't know what's the term. More down to earth. I don't know what's the proper exact term. But then, but I'll be really real with you guys. I really wish I have both Miyabi and Yanagi, man. Because both their gameplay really giving off I am Vir Vir uh, Virgil vibes from Devil May Cry, but unfortunately I am want I am trying to be as F 2 P as possible. So so here's how it's gonna go. I will try my best to pull for Yanagi first. But if I fail to pull for Yanagi, then I'll just go for Miyabi. I mean, I did check out her gameplay as a matter of fact. Prior to me jumping right into this special episode, and dude, she's her, her gameplay is so freaking cool, man. So freaking cool. Hello, you're the HIA rep who booked to discuss cooperation today, right? Yeah, 
Uh, I'm going to respond clearly and directly, explain why I'm here, and show off my cool professional side. Uh... Did you mean to say that out loud? Uh, I'm so sorry. That's me. Uh, I mean, I'm me. I, I mean, I'm the HIA rep. Yes. Bro, chill. I swear I didn't sound this stupid when I was practicing in my head, but just <laughs> thinking about talking with an elite from Section 6 made me... Nervous. <laughs> Please relax. We're no different from any other task force. Except... Yanagi. Can I skip the next chief briefing? I'd like to continue my training of never attending briefings. What that the training will only give you complaints <laughs> and a bonus cut. You have to attend the briefing, chief. Nagi, what's this lunchbox with berry and meal written on it? Is it a snack? Can I eat it? No, you can't. That's medicine. Asaba brought it to use as proof when he was pretending he had a stomach ache to get a sick day. What the hell? What? Deputy Chief, how did you know I was faking it? I mean, how could you accuse me of that? Because the sick leave request you submitted last week had a photo of this exact same box. I've rejected tonight's leave request on behalf of the Chief, so don't forget about your night shift. Tuning out the bickering behind her, a mix of immaturity, calm reasoning, and fake sickness, the tall deputy chief and intelligent. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, you were saying you're no different from the other task forces? Exactly. Everyone's personalities are just a little more distinct. So let's get to the matter at hand. What did you want to discuss? All oh, right. I'm here on behalf of the HIA to invite Section 6 to participate in a test of our latest next gen VR system. All the necessary application processes have already been confirmed with the higher ups. Ah, so that's what it is. Yes, I did receive a note from the department head, assisting our partner organization in refining their new VR system by entering the virtual space as test users to evaluate system performance. But if I remember correctly, it said it would be voluntary. If you'll allow me to ask everyone first. If participating in this means I can skip the briefing, I'm in. Do we get to go to the HIA club? What the oh Mia be skipping God, briefings, yeah, man? Yeah. What the fuck? Aha! Uh -huh. Doing the VR test means I can skip my shift, right? Count me in. They always come together in moments like this. Alright, as you can see, Section 6 is willing to participate in the VR test. We'll head to the specified address. We look forward to working with you. Fantastic! I'm gonna tell everyone at the office that it was my professional communication skills that got Section 6 to work with us. Maybe I'll even sneak a selfie as a souvenir. <clears throat> You're thinking out loud again. And this is a classified area, so taking pictures is prohibited. Gasp! Later, Hollow Special Operations Section 6 arrive at the HIA. Uh... <sighs> The Nuzum Zero never cease to amaze me with their unique characters. Deputy Chief Shigishido, hello. We are so grateful that everyone from Section 6 could spare some time to assist us in collecting data for the VR system. Thank you so much. I'm in charge of the test today. It's nice to meet you. We should be thanking you. It's very nice to be working with you. Oh. I heard we back that your lady Miyabi's most trusted person. She is entrusted almost everything. No, all the people and liaison tasks to you. So it's no exaggeration to say that you're the one who actually bears the responsibilities of Chief of Section 6. In addition to your duties as an intelligent officer and the daily task of a deputy chief, you have to do so much in place of the chief. It must be exhausting living like that, right? When you open your eyes in the morning, you probably don't want to go to work at all. You're quite straightforward, aren't you? Oh no, I'm sorry. Did I come off as too straightforward? Actually, I've always had trouble grasping the sense of distance with my colleagues, which is an issue on my part. It's not a weakness. We have people in Section 6 who are far more set in their ways, but they're all out and out experts when it comes to completing things in their work domain. And that's good enough. One of my responsibilities is to handle all necessary communication beyond, beyond the scope of the job. <laughs> like what we're doing now. 
Thanks for understanding. Are you here to check up on uh, how test preparations are going? We're all set up and ready to go here. Just bring everyone in and we can start the test anytime. I'll be waiting for you at all at the club. So... Well, well, well. Wise and Bell over here. Anyhow, let's me have a conversation with Harumasa first. I'm so happy this is the first time I have been so close to Harumasa. You're so handsome, your hair so soft, the guardian badge on his chest is so well, you smell so good, I like herbal aroma. I feel like skipping this dialogue already, so... Jeez! Buddy, they are officers, not, not idols! What the fuck? Sukaku so should be normal. So, so the Kaku really is good, it's a bunch of things, right? My precious daughter was also just as innocent and pure. She used to love eating the apples from the garden. Goodness me, what happened to your daughter? Currently studying for a doctorate in active physics and only comes home on the weekends. And all she talks about is school is this, school that, it's not cute at all. This is show off about her daughter. Okay, enough of my daughter. Here, Sukaku, have an apple. Sukaku, how many times have I told you that you might get into trouble if you take food brought by normal citizens? That's not what I meant. If you always go build up whatever they give you, then your fans will be embarrassed to show up empty-handed. In the long run, it will be a burden on them. But yeah, that's right. If you know I'm really hungry, I don't want to eat anybody out of the house at home. I want everyone to be happy when they come to meet me. Nagi, can I accept all of the gifts? Ooh, a really pretty happy. A new Erudu Guardian badge and this braided bracelet that says Sokaku is 10th cutest in the world. 10th cutest? That's impossible. Our Sokaku has to be the number one cutest. What the hell? Well, upon closer inspection, it actually says the cutest if that's so. Then I guess you should wear everyone's gift then Sukaku. The test is ready to begin. Please say goodbye to everyone and come find me at the club. And lastly, Miyabi. Front view, front view, front view. Lady Miyabi, thank you, thank you. You just eliminated the companion hollow that killed my parents. I can now start a new life and it's all thanks to you. I came here just to express my gratitude. I want to become stronger. If I keep working hard, surely I'll be as strong as Lady Miyabi one of these days. How can I get powerful like you, Lady Miyabi? Tell me how. Wow, have you been this powerful ever since you were a baby? What runs through your head when you draw your katana? The mysteries of martial power? The ultimate truth? The universe? Or just what you're having for lunch? Weird question. When I draw my blade, I just think about drawing it. That's all. I see. Just like the badge on your chest says, truly a thought process worthy of being new every to guardian. Ah, <sighs> what a classy chief thing to say. Yanagi, there you are. Are preparations all ready for the combat test? All preparations have been made. Once you finish with your duties here, Chief, please proceed directly to the club. Hmm. Let's please through this, this and get home early. There's still fragments of the now faced group at large, so we can let our guard down. That's what I was thinking. Hopefully, we can wrap this test up quick and easy. I've notified everyone, so now... Um... It's Yanagi? Oh, it's you. Long time no see. Ah, Misunaki, do you remember me? Even though we haven't talked directly, I remember there was a period of time when I saw you often. 
He even helped our staff maintain order when some citizens were got a bit too excited, correct? Wow, we have such a good memory. I couldn't follow Section 6 schedule recently because I was preparing for an interview. It seemed like the interview went well, yes? Yes, I achieved my dream working for the government and the mayor. But that job is in the Vulcan Quarter. I probably won't have the chance to see everyone from Section 6 anymore. Can I just say that Section 6 has always been my motivation? I want to protect this city just like you all, in my own way. So before I leave, I want to take a photo with all four of you. Uh, I know this request is a bit abrupt. Of course, it will be an honor for us. Please wait a moment. I will convey your wish to my colleagues. Lord, what is Vice and Bell doing well over there on the right hand side? Uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This has to be picture perfect. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Just what I wanted. And I'll just save this. I think this will be the thumbnail for the video. Okay. I think that will be the thumbnail for the video. But what's we voice a girl doing on the right hand on the right hand side of the photo man? What the freak? You walk in the fucking corner with Jamie Gore. Oh, 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 Lol. Chief, tell me, are you genuinely the clueless or the evilest being to grace this world in the last hundred years? Nagi, when are we going to the HIA club for snacks? It's not for snacks, but for work. I believe they finish up with preparations. I'll go ahead. You all take your time to catch up. Oh, so this is the HIA building. Deputy Chief Tsukishiro, you're back. Is everyone from Section Six ready to go? Yes. They'll be arriving here shortly. Since we have some time before we begin, there's something I'm curious about and would like to ask you if that's all right. Uh, of course. Where would you like to start? Uh, here's my electronic medical record with all my physiological information, and here's my knock-knock ID. Just scan it to add me as a friend. No verification needed. And this is my... Oh, hold on. You misunderstand. Uh... I'm not interested in you personally. I just wanted to ask a few technical questions about the test. Uh, uh, I see. Sorry about that. I got a little excited there and misunderstood. <laughs> uh, concealing your tears with laughter dude. just makes you sound even more pitiful. Dude. This dude is clearly not right in the head, man. What the fuck? He answers Yanagi's questions one by one with an overly cheerful yet seemingly cheerful voice. Our mission is to collaborate across departments to help the HIA test their latest VR system. Basically, the core feature of this new VR system is its unprecedented deep sync with sensory nerves. Simulations with such deep levels of immersion are better at tricking the brain into improved training results by convincing your body that a virtual experience is in fact real and not just visual stimulation. Of course, they've blocked off all pain sensors for this test. The plan is to roll out this new VR platform to public security, the defense force, regular investigators, and even the general public. So a standardized value system needs to be developed. Our task is to enter the simulation and conduct comprehensive battles. The techs here will set our combat data as the maximum limit inside the system. Once we finish modeling all the virtual data, our mission will be complete. Any questions? I've got a question. I've already persuaded the staff to help us submit the task report after it's completed, so you'll just need to notify the director when we're done, Chief. No further questions from me. 
Me, me! The HIA will provide us with work meals and some snacks. I've asked them to allocate extra for you, Sakaku. Yay! You're the best, Nagi! I have a question as well. No, you may not take any leave. <laughs> All right then, if there are no further questions... Wait, Deputy Chief, I you wasn't asking asked about question. taking any leave. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. That's odd. Odd? I think it's odd that you know the answer before even hearing the question. If I tried that with the girls in the intelligence unit, they'd think I was stalking them. Okay, so what's your question? How long are we supposed to conduct comprehensive battles? There is no time restriction. It depends on the HIA's requirements. However, based on the design of this test system, the session will end automatically once we defeat all the test monsters. What's that book you're holding? It's the technical manual for the VR system. I borrowed it from the staff. Most of the information I just shared came from it. What does it say on page 273? It covers the three methods for initiating safe mode within the system and an analysis of their applicable scenarios. That's weird! You said that without even flipping through the book! Did you memorize the whole thing? If you keep this up, you'll start losing your hair. Run no, I want you to be the executor of my estate after I retire. Um. It's a little early to be planning for that, Chief. All right, let's put the strange questions aside and get ready to start testing. Um, Nagi, are there any unknown dangers in this virtual world? Don't worry, the HIA staff will be with us every step of the way. And also, I'll be here. I'll take care of everyone. Right. What am I doing? Let's just focus on the melee thing. Just as he says in the manual, when everyone shouts the key phrase at the same time, the system will start loading up the test stage. The key phrase is... To protect the city, I, Professor Mimi, will become light. Ah. Huh? Let's just keep going! So your name is Professor Mimi, I take it. The cat who lives in our lab is Professor Mimi. To protect the city, I, Hoshimi Miyabi, will become light. To protect the city, I, Asaba Harumasa, will become light. To protect the city, I, Sakaku, will become light. To protect the city, I, Kishiro Yanagi, will become light. Realistic weight, too. All right, then. <laughs> Aww, like candy. My weapon feels perfect, too. Simulating it to this level, well done. Oh, wow, getting complimented by Biabi. I'll never forget this day. To make testing easier, I've added a progress marker for everyone. Uh -huh. When it turns green, it means the background data collection is done. And that's the sign we're done for the day, right? <laughs> Well then, let's begin the combat test. Activating combat mode. I kind of want to use Miyabi though, but... Yanagi has two stances. Jogen and Kagen. During combat, Yanagi gains the corresponding stance bonuses based on her opponent's stance type. Jogen's stance bonus increases the electric damage and increases anti-interrupt level during basic attacks. Kagen stance bonus increases her pen ratio and increases interrupt level of basic attacks. When using a special attacks, EX special attack or other skills, Yanagi can switch stances. After switching, Yanagi retains the previous stance buff for 8 seconds. If special attack Ruten is used after the third, fourth, or fifth hit of basic attack, Squiomi Kagura, 
it triggers Swift Rutan. Yanagi Swish stands and immediately fall off with the third hit of the basic attack from the current stance. When Yanagi has enough energy, hold the special attack to unleash EX special attack, Gekaru Ten, which consists of a thrust attack and a downward strike. Thrust attack. During the thrust attack, Yanagi will switch her current stance and enter the Shinra Bansho state. While in this state, when chaining into a basic attack from the from the fifth hit of her basic attack or any other skill, the basic attack will begin from the third hit. Downward attack. When the attack when the downward attack hits an anomaly with an attribute anomaly, it will trigger a special disorder effect called polarity disorder. Polar disorder will not remove the target's attribute anomaly. Oh, let's just freaking go. The first batch of test targets has been deployed, so it's rebels. They clock less than actual rebels, which is good. Well done, Sakaku. Deployed. That's so cool. That's so freaking cool, man. Wait, what? The virtual arena suddenly loses all its deadly aura as the snarly digital enemies freeze in place, striking poses. A slightly distorted voices from the staff echoes through the virtual space. The data has been collected, and that concludes the test. Thank you, everyone, for your cooperation. Hmm. Aww. That was a solid combat simulation. Almost too real. The downside is, it ended too quickly. Yeah, it ended too quickly. I'll be real as well. We get back. <sighs> I'd much rather slack off here than work overtime. Wait, that's not right. Even though my body's resting, my mind's been working overtime. I haven't slacked off at all. This is cyber overtime. Mental exhaustion. Deputy Chief, what's another way to describe it? Karma. But we did finish sooner than expected. Was the data collection successful? Everything went smoothly. To avoid delaying everyone's work, we accelerated the back-end data modeling process. I didn't realize that was possible. It wasn't listed in the technical manual. Good job, everyone. Do you still want a group photo? Since we're done early, I can arrange that for you. Huh? Group photo? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Didn't you say you wanted to sneak a selfie as a souvenir? Uh, oh, yeah, I did say that. But I know Section 6 is super busy. I wouldn't want to bother you with something so trivial. You could head straight back to hand. Wait. Huh? We're heading straight back? But what about the meals? Uh, we'll have the meals packed up and delivered to you. I'll bring up the logout menu now. Please hit confirm when you're ready. Thanks. Wait. We'll log out right now. Something's all right. A semi-transparent dialogue suddenly appears in the air with the system. You have now logged out of the system. Okay, something's not right. Something's definitely not right. The HIA sincerely thanks everyone for your help. We will definitely be putting Section 6 combat uh, data to good use. I'm just glad we could be of service. If it's alright, we'll be off now. Please head to the parking lot. There's an official car waiting for you and we'll be taking you all back, just like how we brought you here. Why? Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. 
Maybe not. When are they coming out? I've been waiting here since this morning and I really wanted I wanna see Lady Miyabi again. Citizens, citizens, I understand how passionate you all are, but the Section 6 executive officers have important official duties and have to go back soon. Even if they didn't, they'd be resting in the class VVIP lounge, so there's no point waiting here. You won't get any chance to meet them. I didn't expect to see all these people still milling around even after we finish our movie's talking trip. Rather than the person, I'm more interested in learning what the inside of the VVIP lounge looks like. In the Lumina Square parking lot? It's not just the HIA car that's not here. There's no sign of any vehicles around. I'm certain this is the direction the staff member pointed us towards. Has something happened? Just then, the rest of the Section 6 arrive at the parking lot. I don't see any cars. Should we walk back instead? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a walk and patrol at the same time. Chief, Sukaku, aren't you two a little too unfazed? This situation seems fishy anyway you look at it. Deputy Chief, what do you think? There aren't many possibilities that could have led to our current predicament. Let's rule them out one by one then. Agreed. Let's go back and ask the staff what's going on. Okay, so I believe that's the first part. Uh, that's the end of the first part of this special episode. The staff who was hosting us before and the receptionist, they're all gone. Uh oh. Yanaki, don't you find the current situation strange? If even our chief realizes that things are weird, then it truly must be the weirdest of the weird. I said, just fitting up to investigate as teams. What do you think, chief? Let's do it. The Saba, you and Sukaku take the stairs. Yanagi, come check the inside with me. Got it. Sukaku, come with me. I noticed this when we came in. Nobody is using them, but all of these machines are still on. Wait. Everyone gathers together? As expected, it's kinda creepy. This place was bustling just before, but now all of a sudden there's nobody around. Is this place haunted? What? By you? Asaba. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. She set me up. There's no point in continuing our investigation here. Let's check outside. I agree with your chief's assessment of the situation. I think if this don't work out, we can just walk back. I think we might already come too far for us to just walk back. Lumina Square Station. Why do you mean? I how are there no people in Lumina Square? At the Lumina Square, I know the hot pot joint is buzzing like crazy even at 3 in the morning. Sukaku, children should be in bed by 3. Next time, you are not allowed to go out so late for snacks. Why are you guys keeping up your stand-up comedy routine in a situation this year? Are you two really that close? Never mind. Though I'm not running out any hope whatsoever, let's still investigate thoroughly. I'll go check the shops down there. How about you, Chief? Then I'll go back and double check the parking lot. Yanagi, you and Sukaku can investigate inside the mall. Alright, let's meet up after our respective investigations to share any discoveries. Okay, let me have a conversation with Asaba first. To find any this tactile path of my conscious one of them has to be wrong.
Next. Sukaku. Billy. Okay, identical trash chains. Miyabi. Chief, did you notice anything unusual? Yes, this one. This it's way longer compared to the others. Unusually long. I'll trim it down to the same length, just one card will do. What is <laughs> Don't destroy public property, Chief. This should be the masterpiece of artistic expression. Then what is it trying to express? Taurus Reeves catch the most win. Whatever. Yanagi had never really thought of Luminous Square as a particularly large place before. But with the crowds gone, all the sounds, smell, and warmth vanish, every chase of It's just like being inside a hollow. Please stop reading my mind, Deputy Chief. This is really starting to scare me. You're scared of an empty square? No. I'm scared of how many times your mommy has seen right through my leave requests. <laughs> my mommy? I've only got a sister. Let's share our findings on the investigation. Chief, have you got anything? Nothing. No matter how much I wave my sword around, nobody's coming to take a group photo or a selfie. I couldn't uh... find anyone either. Feels like I'd be hiding until my tummy started growling if I played hide and seek here. Uh-huh. My tummy isn't growling! Why? I've been running around investigating all day! Why am I not hungry? Am I... sick? So, Kaku, do you really need to bug the Deputy Chief with stuff like this? Want to hear my theory about what's going on? Go on. New Eridu has been hit by a deadly plague. Everyone must have been evacuated from Lumina Square while we were running those combat tests. As carriers of the virus, we've now been quarantined and cut off from everyone in this big empty square! Yowch. Miss Tsukishiro! You hit me! Not even the Chief has done that before! Uh, Chief, put your hands down. That wasn't an invitation for you to hit me, too. Just because I was talking about the plot from a movie I watched last night doesn't mean you had to hit me. My apologies. Did that hurt? Huh? I so and you're asking me if it hurt? You sound like one of those mean homeroom teachers. Wait. N no, it did not hurt. That's weird. I didn't feel anything. Oh, fuck. Just as I thought. This empty square we're in, the lack of fans hounding our chief, Sakaku's tummy, Asaba's lack of pain. Instead of assuming thousands of people could be teleported away, let's begin with the assumption that the problem here lies with us. Are you saying we're actually... Yes, we're still in the virtual environment. For some reason, we haven't been able to log out. I see. That explains a lot. Our brains? Are they in danger? Don't worry. Just in case, I can activate safety mode for everyone. I still remember the method outlined in the technical manual. I'm sorry for running my mouth earlier, Deputy Chief. Uh, from now on, I'll fully support you memorizing the manual. And I'll buy you the finest hair conditioner on the market. Okay, get me the latest shampoo from Carliche. All right, team. Let's head back to the HIA club and try to find another way of logging out. Back into the HIA club. Oh. Safe mode activated. All right, you're up. Sukaku, come here. Okay, Nagi. 
Wa. Sukaku, Asaba, what's wrong? Whoa, whoa! No, no, no! Nagi, why isn't my body listening to me? Oh, oh she's right! My body. It's like it's being controlled by something else. What? Chief, are you okay? I'm not. What? I had the urge to kill you about five minutes ago. Whoa. Yanagi. Leave it to me, Miyabi. So this truly isn't the real world. Someone's tampered with things, preventing us from leaving. Hollow Special Operations Section 6, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. That logo, <laughs> it's... You're going to be trapped here until your brains shut down. Oh. oh. You're finally awake, Sukaku. Feeling pain anywhere? My head still hurts a little. Looks like the pain feedback in the test system has been fully engaged. I'm sorry for being a bit rough earlier. I had to make sure to stop everyone. It's okay, Naki. My headache isn't because of you. More like from earlier. Seems like we're all in the same boat. A massive headache, then losing control and attacking teammates. Now we can be sure our failure to log out of the VR system was not an accident, but a deliberate act. While everyone was unconscious, the enemy sent a threat. Yanagi briefly tells her teammate about her confrontation with the unknown voice. That was brazen. Any idea who it could be? It's just speculation at this point, but the fact that the enemy was able to display information in front of us proves they've gained partial control over the VR system. So waiting for rescue isn't a good idea. But if we act recklessly, we might fall into the enemy's trap. But can they really set a trap without even showing up? This is a virtual world, and we're just data entities fully synced with our senses. Whoever controls the system is like a god here. They can do whatever they want. Hmm... The enemy delivered a threat at the risk of exposing their identity. Or perhaps that's what they want us to believe. What do you mean? As long as we can't figure out what they're capable of, the enemy will seem like a god. They flex their power to scare us, leaving us wondering what they can do within the system. That's their plan. They want to restrict our movements and keep us in check. How did you come to this conclusion, Yanagi? Our enemy threatened to destroy our brains by eliminating our data entities. Their attempt to seize control of our bodies and attack our allies was one such effort. But if they had truly seized full control of this system, they could have resorted to far more efficient methods. They could have simply destroyed our data, implanted a virus, ordered us to end ourselves, or even eradicated us along with this realm. But they didn't. So it's very possible they simply can't, because they don't have full control over this system. That's possible. But maybe they're just not as devious as you and haven't considered doing it. I'd say that's impossible, because they're up against us, Section 6. <sighs> They can't beat us in the real world, so they've gone to great lengths to trap us in the virtual world. We have the most promising Void Hunter in New Eridu, so if I were the enemy, I'd want to take us out quickly. The more they bluff, the more it proves there's still something we can do. You're the most cautious person I know. I've never seen you take action based just on speculation. I think I'm the most cautious person you've ever met, too. What you've just heard are speculations from the most cautious of people. But I'm not taking risks because I'm reckless. Quite the contrary. The situation is dire, and we'll have to take the initiative to survive. Hmm... It's been a while since you spoke to Harumasa in such a serious tone, Yanagi. This reminds me of our first days in Section 6. Everyone, do you trust me? Well, you've laid it all out. And I don't have any other ideas. Like Harumasa said, this is all just speculation without any solid evidence. If we're wrong, things could get worse, and there's no turning back. Aw, Nagi's tail is drooping. Oh wait, Nagi doesn't have a tail! Huh? But 
I have faith in you. As the chief, I'll take full responsibility for whatever happens. Just tell us what to do. Thank you, everyone. As for what we should do, I'm sure you all remember in the previous combat test, there were still three monsters left to defeat. Yeah. They said they'd already gotten the data they wanted before we could take them down, right? Exactly. And do you remember the briefing before the operation? About the rules I saw in the user manual? Once all test monsters are defeated, the test will automatically come to an end. Got it. So we need to go back to the test stage and finish off the last three enemies. This is the best approach given the situation, but I'm sure our enemy won't just leave them there like sitting ducks. They have partial control over the system and will stop at nothing to eliminate us. We're just ordinary officers, while our enemy has far more resources and room for error. Are you worried, Naki? No. It's our enemy who should be worried. Are you hearing this, you shady coward? You're messing with the elites of New Eridu. Okay, so let's continue investigating the VR machine. Has such a big data error. The mastermind has gained partial access to the VR system and can tamper with the internal data for of test enemies. When defeated, these altered enemies will explode, dealing area damage around them. Get over here. Good. Waste of time. Good. Good. Everyone, watch out. These monsters are cheating. Press the attack. Enemies of Section 6 shall pay. Let's keep moving. We're at a disadvantage in a drawn-out battle. Let's go after the target first. Good. There's the scumbag. One, two, three, four, five. Nagi, I see it. Hey, step right there. Surrender. 
taking down cheating enemies? I impress even myself. Yes. I'm enjoying the fight too. Huh. Avoiding the fight like that. It must be one of the missing test monsters. Oh, I want to play engage. Hey, you're Nagi, though. Never mind. Found you. Huh? huh? This old trick? Bollocks. Chief Miyavi, now! <laughs> There's no hiding instinct. Damn. You know how to leave this virtual space. Talk. <laughs> You're never leaving. Huh? We're back in the HIA room again. Whew. I'm exhausted. Nagi, you did it! That's the deputy chief for you. Well done. <laughs> so they back for you? I see. Is this so we can learn the enemy's weakness? If everyone's still feeling up to it, then I suggest we strike while the iron is hot and seize our chance to uh, catch the next one away. Wait, it's not a way. Log into the VR machine again? Okay. Uh. Game? Excuse me, game? Game? What the fuck? I can't even talk to the dudes. Excuse me? Hold on. Okay, apparently, um, this was what happened early on where there is a known issue where the PC version of the game may freeze while playing the special episode Virtual Revenge in Story Mode which what happened early on. So I didn't really uh, disable high precision character animation to resolve this issue but what I did is I had to Alt F4 the game and then boot up the game back. So that was what I did. Now. Let me close this notification. So let me have this conversation with uh, Sukaku first, just to because early on I was stuck while having a conversation with Sukaku, right? Nah. Not anymore. Hopefully, hopefully the whole the Zealous Zone Zero crew. Uh, We'll be able to fix this issue. Alright, let's not waste any more time and jump. Please work. Oh, cutscene. After a big week of preparation, the squad is ready to recite the key phrase and enter the next test. Do you remember the key phrase to start the test? Yeah, it was that cool one. To feast on the city's delights. Or something like that. No, Sokaku. I don't think that was the phrase. It was more like... To shine the light of justice, eliminate all evil. Yeah, something like that. Oh no, they don't remember the catchphrase. That's just the version you wanted, Chief. The correct phrase was, <clears throat> To protect the city, I shall become the light. Yep. It's rare for Asaba to remember such details, especially at work. You can recite the slogan this time. Wait, so you guys conveniently forgot because you were embarrassed to recite it? Oh, fine, fine, I'll do it. But don't stare at me. It'll make it even more embarrassing. 
<clears throat> to protect the city, I, Asaba Haramasa, shall become the light. As soon as he finished speaking, a bizarre data loading noise fills the air. With a mix of reluctance and embarrassment, Harumasa stands awkwardly, half committing to the pose, and a natural glow slowly envelops his body as the sharp details of his virtual avatar begin to dissolve into pixelated blocks, blending into a bright white halo. Moments later... Uh, why isn't the stage activated? Did I mess up the words enough? Uh, oh no. What? Why are you all staring at me, Enna? And why are you all so tall, Enna? Uh, wait. Why am I talking like this, Enna? Oh. Uh, Asaba? Is that you? What's going on? Is this some kind of prank, Enna? Of course I'm me. How Masa turns to face the wall and in the glossy reflection of the door, he sees an adorably round figure staring back at him. He's gonna freak out. What? Enna! Oh, Masa turned into a bang boo. Hold on. No. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Enna! But, but why? Where's my body? Is this for real? Did I actually turn into a bang boo, Enna? I mean, sure, my old body wasn't perfect. But, but this. These stubby arms and this clumsy body. I'm totally useless and now. Aw, cheer up, Harumasa. You're not useless. You're the best. Yes, he's far from over. Now's really not the time for that, Enna. <laughs> Scumbag. It's person. The know-it-all intel officer, dragging everyone down with her. Just as planned. My strategy worked. The enemy made a mistake. Pfft, keep deluding yourself. Thanks to your foolishness, those battles gave me all the data I needed to take over this system, and soon to take over you. Oh, fuck. Your teammate's data model is complete. I've made some small optimizations to it soon he'll be on a fast track to brain death Wh what do you want from us <laughs> didn't i tell you i want revenge on the invincible section six that archer was the first next is the kid and then the pride of the hoshimi family and you the know-it-all intelligence officer i'll make sure you're the last one I want you to watch as your teammates, under your leadership, walk step by step towards the... Bang! An ear splitting glass echoes out as Sokaku reaches Haruma Sabu and violently slams him into the TV, interrupting the venomous whisper. Uh, very helpful. Sokaku? You listen to that ugly loser, Nagi! I... I don't really understand what I was talking about! But I do know one thing. It was showing its face now because it's panicking. Hey, is that why you smashed me through the TV screen, Sokaku? Oh, the screen is back to normal, Anna. I told you, I'm slowly seizing control of this system. Soon, I will be the god of this world. If I want it restored, it will be restored. And if I want you dead, you will die. I get it now. <laughs> too bad. It's already too late. That means you're admitting it yourself. You haven't taken over this system, and you don't have the power to change the rules. It's reassuring to see the rules in the technical manual still apply. If we kill all the test monsters, it will trigger the end of the test. We're heading in the right direction. You've provided me with very useful information. <laughs> you think you're so clever. If that's your conclusion, then you're even dumber than I thought. Let's see if you're still smiling the next time we meet.
to I think it yeah Yanagi will be activated compared mode by itself. Alright. Yeah. Hey you sneaky little creep! Don't run Nana! Uh, where are the others? Darn it! The path's blocked. Should we go around Nana? Blocked again! Stay calm and look end. around. The wall on the left doesn't seem very sturdy. Looks like we can break through it. Awesome, Anna! I get the feeling it's trying to lure us in, Anna. At this point, the only option is to catch up and take it down as fast as possible. Good. Ah, I'm supposed to dodge. I forgot. That stinger move really is helpful. Yikes. enough to hold out for long, Anna. Uh, hey, Tsukishiro? Oh, no, Anna. No, no, Anna, Anna. Whoa. <sighs> Nagi! It'd be cool if it's animated, though, but... Yanagi! Forget about me! Get out of there! Oh, dear. No, I good. told you your assistance is useless here. Really? Useless? Hurting people like this. The special monster we're looking for must be you. Huh? Damn it! Soki Shiro Yanagi! Stage complete. 
Oh! Does that mean they are out of the VR? I knew trusting you was the right thing to do, Nagi. The second monster is done! Woohoo! We're almost there! Oh, there's the second I monster. I don't like just sitting here watching while my teammates fight without being able to help. But I'm glad you're okay. Deputy Chief, now's a good time to act badass, right? Maybe drop a cool line like, I'm just an office worker. There's something to rub it in, Nena. Technically, I am an office worker. And you've done a great job as a bang boo, Harumasa. <sighs> no, huh? Why has everyone gone quiet? You! Curse you! A mere intelligence officer messing up my plans! You again? <laughs> Seeing us destroy two of the test monsters meant you finally had to act. With one more to go, your plan is about to fail. Arrogant as always, intelligence officer. Are you sure your teammates can hold out that long? I have faith in them. You know nothing of their strength. <laughs> you don't need your teammates to teach you how to act cool. You're pretty good at throwing out those cheesy comic book cool lines yourself. Hold on. Oh, I can take a screenshot of this. If you all don't think he might. Right. Got the screenshot. I think it's better if I use this. Got a screenshot for my thumbnail, so auto. I'm just stating the facts. You've tried manipulating the data, the terrain, the system, and you still can't beat us. I think knowing when to give up is a form of wisdom. Yeah, I agree with you on this one. Sometimes it is wise to give up. Oh? It's been a while since I met such a reasonable villain. I might try and get you some special treatment as a prisoner. Maybe a pork cutlet that Tsukaku hasn't already nibbled at? <laughs> I mean, giving up on you. If it weren't for your interference, I'd have already dealt with those three. So I've decided to stop wasting time on you and focus on what's important. Hold on. What are you planning? Get out of my world! Stay out of my way! Oh, Wait! No. <laughs> Oh no. Did the hacker keep- Wait! Uh, Miss Tsukishiro? You- You- I... Where am I? Is this? Ah! Miss Tsukishiro! You're awake! Thank goodness you're back. You're back in the real world! Oh no. This doesn't look good. Thank the gods that at least you managed to wake up. Oh, what I'm going to tell now is very important. Please listen to me very carefully. My teammates' consciousness are trapped inside their virtual environment and they are under threat right now. Please go hand immediately and request a cyber security specialist plus a medical team. Before they get here, please block off all the entrance and exit of the HSA club and stop anyone from coming in or going out. Dear citizens, friends of HIA, loyal users of the VR system, and premium users, and yes, premium users, thank you all for your support and enthusiasm. Our apologies, but we may need to extend our VR system maintenance today. The Korea Club will reopen once maintenance is complete. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Hearing the members of Session 6 wouldn't be appearing, the crowd of citizens VS with surprising intensity. Okay. Something happened? It's nothing. No, it's not nothing. It's really setting me off. So you're probably finding weird too, right, Wise? Or the HOA Club? 
Yeah, so she, Six basically disappeared after going into the HIA club. Even the scheduled press conference has been cancelled. There's a huge focus on the internet with people speculating about what's happened to Section 6. Better keep an eye on that. The keywords are, let me see, Section 6, HIA club, and Koshimi Miyabi. Also, the next day. Wait. We're switching back to Wise already? Huh. Okay. After the news on Section 6 is concluded, let's compile all the info from the internal selected by Ferry along with those stray morsels from the news. Firstly, Section 6 hasn't come out of the club. Plus, online reports have placed several experts in cybersecurity from both the HIA and NEPS arriving at Lumina Square. That's why everyone's guessing, but nobody knows what's actually happened. You know me, wise. First, I want to go check it out. Let's grab the car. Got a little earlier today at the HIA club. Lock in fail. Missing authentication information. Lock in fail. Lock in fail. Damn it. I haven't been able to log back in ever since the system kicked me out. I've tried everything, but even the login link disappeared in the end. It's been so long already. Tokaku, Miyabi, and Horimasa, I mean, Asaba, they're all suffering inside there and there's nothing I can do about it. Deputy Chief Kishiro? Ah, uh, oh, I'm sorry about that. I was daydreaming. Has our backup arrived yet? The professionals from hand have arrived. They're working on relinking the connection so you can re enter the virtual world. When I tried logging in using the original link, the system prompted missing authentication information. But ever since I've been here, I've stuck with my team, whether in the virtual world or the real one. I can't figure out how there can be an authentication information that Miyabi, Harumasa, and Sokako all have but that I don't. Even if they can create a new connection, I'm worried that I won't be able to log in at all if we can't solve this first. Do our experts have any insight about that? We are working hard. Thanks for your hard work. We will never give up. Never. Uh, when the also all the security fans outside and they were all clutching onto all the gifts that they wanted to give to the islands. I told them all to go and then I passed them on for them but you know what they said? They wanted to personally hand over the gifts to the idol. The guardians of the area do. We kept everything secret though, we didn't let anything out of the bag. They've got no idea that the heroes are now on the brink of death because of our negligence. That's something I, I really... Oh, your whole expression just seemed to the endeavor. Are you going to take your anger out of me? What you just said has reminded me of something. Please hold on a minute. I want to run a quick physical diagnostic on my teammates. They are all under expert medical supervision right now. If we can provide some detail about their health, it should be useful in stabilizing the situation. Deputy Ch Chief Kishiro, thank you for all your hard work. I'm currently in charge of taking care of your three teammates. And I got a few questions I'd like to ask you. You retrieved the basic health reports of three from the database, but something went wrong with doing the data transfer, and we lost the info on each file's owners. I'd like to ask for your help in identifying which of the three reports belongs to each executive officer based on my description. The first report, let me see. Looks like it's a petite only girl with exceptional physical abilities. Who do you think this file belongs to? Could it be Lady Miyabi or Mr. Asaba? Do you really need it for Tia? That's Sukaku. He belongs to a male officer. His bust, waist, and hip measurements are. Saba. The last people, it looks like this one is a different powerful female fox demon who wears a sword and has earned the title of Boy Hunter. Her height is 170 cm. That's Miyabi.
No matter what, please bring the three of the back, please. <coughs> Yanagi walks up to them, quietly watching. That the caretaker mentioned, the new Arido Garden best gleams brightly on the chest of the tree. Their breathing is steady and their hands are warm. Anyone looking at them would never think they were on the brink of death. I can't imagine this city without you, so I have to bring you back. Just then, a message arrives. The cyber warfare experts have successfully restored the connection gateway. Miss Tsukishiro, the login link has been re-established, but part of the system is still under the enemy's control. The message authentication information missing keeps popping up, so we can't log in. I have an idea that might be worth a try. What's that in your hand? Oh, a new Eridu Guardian badge? That's a really unique design. Is it official hand merchandise? That's not important. Please take this badge to the specialist team for analysis. The staff takes away the badge for analysis before bringing it back soon after. This is... incredible. Wait, do you intend to log into the system wearing this? It's the missing authentication information, isn't it? Yes, but it's too risky. Once you log in, you won't be able to activate safe mode. Even the pain feedback protection will be disabled, and it could... There's something I'd like to confirm. What is it? Are the core system rules still in effect? I'm talking about the content in this user guide. This system creates an immersive virtual realm synced with the user's senses. Once all test monsters are defeated, the session will automatically come to an end. According to the specialists, these rules are intact, correct? Uh, of course! These are the core rules governing the VR system. Our battle with the enemy has always been about gaining control of the system. And they have neither the ability nor the opportunity to alter them. Great. Then I'm going into the system. My teammates are still out there. Please assist me. I'm counting on you. <laughs> that was so moving! I'm going to create a dedicated fan club just for you! And one day, I'll make sure everyone in New Eridu is a die-hard fan of Miss Tsukishiro! Bro. Uh, you're thinking out loud again. No, no, that's just what I'm saying out loud. My inner thoughts are way more embarrassing. If I were to say them out loud, you'd never look at me the same again, so I'll stop. But since you've made up your mind, I'll give it my all to support you. I swear, as the founder of the Tsukishiro Yanagi fan club, I pray to the founders of Eridu, to Lady Sunbringer, and the leftover noodles from lunch. I pray for the uh. safety of you and everyone in Section 6. Thank you. <laughs> I'll make sure they all get back safely. Looks like the HIA club, but nobody's here. I guess I guess right, there was a very logging method. There's voices outside, I better head out and take a look. Let's freaking go. This is like something out of a nightmare. So this is what nightmares are like. Wait, Chief, you've never had one? No, never. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 97%. Oh crap. Miyabi, there's no time! Please listen to me! There's no need. Have you already uncovered the enemy's secret? Yes, Chief. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 98%. Oh no. You've got a plan to take them down, right? I do, Chief. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 99%. Then I'll leave it to you. She's turning into a baby. Damn. Miyabi's combat data collection progress has reached 100%. Data collection complete. Model construction in progress. And she turned into a bangu. To protect the city, I, Tsukishiro Yanagi, become light. Alright, let's begin go. Sorry everyone, I got here too late. Leave the rest to me. It doesn't matter how many 
Have four, but never mind. Whoa, the heavy rain, though. Holy crap! More enemies. If only I had a bang boo with my sword. I'd like to join the fight, too. Emma. Don't worry, please. Leave it to me. Enemies is such a sick. Shall pay. So cool. Maybe I didn't use my uh, use my ult, but never mind. Where were you, Amy? And it ends with a stinger. Because you're not her. Whoa. You've always looked after me, after all of us. You're the only one in this world who can capture it. Freaking cool, man. Holy crap. <sighs> and they're all back to normal. <sighs> I can finally clock out. <sighs> Are you ready? Yep. Everyone's been light for so long. It's time to go back to being human. <laughs> I believe that's the end of the the special of the special episode. Wait, what? They will find what I started. No face will not end here. <laughs> oh, so the hacker's name is No Face. Mm.
Your hands are sweaty, Sakaku. <laughs> You're finally awake, Nagi. I was so scared. They said they said your mind used a force that exceeded your physical limits in there, and I thought it might cause your body to go haywire. <laughs> I see. I'll steer clear of that power in the virtual world from now on. Noted. I told you the deputy chief would be all right. How do you feel? Sore all over? Maybe now you can relate to how I feel when I want to take a day off. I'm glad you're safe and sound too, Asaba. However, I think you're cuter in your bangboo form. <laughs> deputy chief! First you slapped me physically and now you hit me with words? That's just cruel. Emotional damage! We're back in the real world, Yanagi. Your strategy worked, as always. Once you're back on your feet, will you help me draft my will? Huh? Now's really not the time for this, Chief. And what's with the will all of a sudden? In large families like the Hoshimi family, such things must be sorted early. Oh. Though I'm totally overjoyed to witness this reunion, I'm afraid I have to interrupt. Just to be on the safe side, we need to give everyone a quick medical checkup. Accompanied by HIA medical staff, the group underwent a basic health check, followed by a more thorough examination in hand specialized medical facility. Thankfully, everyone was fine. Two days later, in the Section 6 office of the hand building... So, the virus was implanted in us by the enemy through that badge? Virus isn't exactly accurate. It's a set of identification codes that aren't inherently dangerous and don't actively emit signals. Their sole purpose is to be detected during a full body scan when the wearer logs into the VR training machine. But when read, it becomes a virus. It opens up a back door allowing the attacker to hack into the system. Or at least, that's what the tech staff reported. But, Deputy Chief, how did you know the badge contained this virus? Looking back, the only distinction between my actions and everyone else was I didn't interact with any fans before the mission started. Oh. To ensure all the citizens who trust Hand feel at ease, the higher-ups have consistently encouraged officers to treat the fans as kindly as possible. It's only natural everyone wears the gifts sent by the fans. So that pretty badge was actually something harmful. Oh no, I can't remember who gave it to me! If I could, we could trace it back to them, right? Don't worry. I've already asked reliable colleagues to follow up. Could it be an insider within the HIA? I did have my doubts. But then I thought if an insider wanted to tamper with it, there are plenty of ways more subtle than implanting an identifier code. The most suspicious person, naturally, is the one who has the strongest reason to target Section 6 right now. No, thanks. Oh, Section 5? Now isn't the time for internal jokes. Chief, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? No face. Yep. We're just one step away from taking down their leader. If they were going to make a desperate move, now would be the time. Null face once hacked into the HIA system and potentially gained access to internal intelligence. Furthermore, conducting electronic warfare through hacker groups has always been Null face's specialty. Hacker groups. So, in other words, the remnants of Nullface, who normally operate independently, are now joining forces? This is their last stand. To efficiently organize their attack against us, they likely aren't too spread out, making it the perfect opportunity to capture them all in one sweep. Huh, they can't beat us in the real Hallows, so they cheat in the game world? These guys are the worst! So, when are we gonna go after them? Rather conveniently, the intelligence from our partner department has just arrived. How about we take them down today? That night, Han resumed their previously cancelled press conference. The entire Holo Special Operations Section C squad attended, announcing the criminal syndicate No Face had been apprehended. This is. Okay. What is it? Section 6 called a press conference claiming that they've taken down North Face in one fell swoop. That's true, was fast. Yeah, word on the street was Section 6 went into the HIA club but never came out again. 
and hand wasn't saying anything which sent the rumor mill into overdrive. Now it looks as though Section 6 had infiltrated the now phase base to launch a sneak attack and hence lack of response was just to help keep the secret. That's as much as I gleaned from the internet. Everyone's just making blind guesses. I mean, it's not like anyone actually witnessed it in person. I'm tired. Basically, the sleeping mind dreams about the worries of the day. Maybe I'll have one of those dreams tonight. I'm thinking me, Wise, and 66 Big Bad Holo Adventure. You want to play VR? Okay. Welcome, citizens, to experience the latest VR system. You are the leader of the Infinite Investigation Team. I didn't expect to meet you here. I was just... 1, 2, 3, Miss Tsukishiro. A paragon of wisdom and bravery. For you, we'll go crazy. You know. The will be your session will disappear right away. Wow. My apologies. No matter how much I tried to stop them, they insisted on forming a fan club so I had to set some rules for management. I'm the invited spokesperson responsible for the safety demonstration of this new VR system. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Time slips by without notice and you end up spending the entire day at the HIA club. By the time you return home, it's already late into the night. You fall asleep without even realizing it, probably because you're exhausted. Wait, that's it? That's the end? Okay. Well, I gotta say, that was a very interesting, special episode to say the least. And not to mention, it kept me engaging from start to end, so I kinda look forward to more um, special special episodes like this from Zenozo Zero. And as a matter of fact, right, after going through this special episode, the temptation of me wanting to pull for Yanagi has significantly increased, so I will probably make a YouTube video of me trying to pull for Yanagi or maybe a short, a YouTube short, so do look forward to that. In the meantime, um, thank you guys for watching um, my playthrough of this special episode for Xenon Zone Zero version 1.3. If you guys enjoyed my playthrough so far and my reaction, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And leave, leave a comment down below what are your thoughts on this um, special episode, the updates for Xenosol Zero version 1.3, what are your updates on Yanagi, the story, leave a comment down below. Until then, take, once again, thank you guys for watching and, and also one more thing, if you guys want to check out more stuff like this for me, I do appreciate Please do feel free to hit that subscribe button at the description down below. Anyway, my name is AJ, have a good one, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.